Hello everyone, your tech enthusiast here and today I will show you how to make your Windows look like Mac OS. So first of all we will install Mac OS cursor or Windows uh, pointer. So let's get to your web browser and search for Mac OS cursor. So it should be linked to DeviantArt as you can see by Diamond 8 Fighter on DeviantArt. And as you can see, this is the macOS cursor for our Windows that we will install. So just click right here, uh, download arrow and save the file. Uh, for you to download this stuff from DeviantArt, you will also need um, DeviantArt account. So uh, make sure you create one. So go back to your download folder and extract a uh, downloaded file, extract all, extract and wait uh, for files to be extracted and as you can see we have this extracted folder macOS cursor and as you can see we have install file so right click it uh, from our options and we will click install and click open this uh, script will actually install the our macOS cursor so if we go right now to the settings and go to the tool type in cursor and go change the mouse pointer display and go to the pointers and as you can see we have Mac OS cursor and we can apply the theme and click yes and as you can see we have Mac OS cursor installed on our windows so the second thing that we will install is a Mac OS icons for our windows so go back to our uh, web browser and search for N-E-E-V-U um, Deviant art and as you can see we have this profile which is uh, his great designer on deviant art make sure to support him and go to the gallery and scroll down and as you can see we have this fixer 2 for our windows uh, uh, 10 it says 10 here but it also works on uh, windows 11 so we will download this uh, file right here and click on save and we will also download 7 TSP which is the tool that uh, helps to install uh, icons for our windows so yeah this is the deviant uh, art uh, web page also you click download as you can see right here and click save the file uh, and go minimize the browser go back to your download folder go here and we will also need to extract all these files right now uh, and click extract when that is done go right click on this 70sp GUI, GUI and we will need to rename it to the exe file so click yes right here and as you can see we have executable file right here now go back to the downloads folder and extract the uh, pixel 2 from nevo so extract all click extract and when the files are extracted go to the extracted folder Go to the 7 TSP icon theme and here we have light mode and dark mode. So if you use guys uh, windows in light mode, uh, I will suggest you to uh, use these icons. And if you have uh, dark mode enabled on our, your windows, uh, I will suggest you that you use dark mode uh, icons uh, for, for uh, our windows. So for example, I have here light mode and I will use the light mode uh, icons for this uh, tutorial. So. I will click rename right here and remove this one that says remove uh, and also delete the dot so 7-zip is the uh, last uh, initials of the file so click enter and click yes as you can see we have 7-zip we can close this one right now and also this one and launch the 7-tsp GUI uh, executable file and we will have to agree to some terms as you can see click yes and we can close this one and we will add a custom pack this one is that we just removed uh, the remove uh, initials and 7 uh, zip is the ending of the file so go here go big sur 7 themes and 7 tsp icon theme and as you can see we have light mode 7 zip so open this one up and one moment please as you can see and i will just for demonstration or purposes i will just uncheck this one but i will suggest you guys to, uh, have checked this option to create system restore point uh, when patching I will suggest you to enable that because I just disabled it for 
demonstrational purposes and I will click start patching and click yes. So when the patching is done we will need to restart our computer and click yes right here to reboot the computer. So when the computer is restarted you will be greeted with this uh, message called the system has been patched and just click ok right here and if we go right here to the our file explorer you can see that we have the macOS icons that we just installed. So the next thing that we will install is Stardock uh, theme uh, or uh, the theme for our um, uh, closing and minimizing and maximizing windows, um, um, these ones right here. So uh, I will click not now right here and I will go to the um, Nivu again once more. Uh, to his uh, deviant art page and go to the uh, here this one it 3 for windows and i will download this file as well so we will uh, apply this mac uh, theme for our uh, this uh, closing and minimizing and maximizing uh, buttons so i will click download right here and click save and we will also need start up curtains to work but I think that uh, the startup curtains only works if you want it for free for 30 days so uh, this step is optional because um, as you can see the startup curtains only works for 30 days but if you have paid uh, you uh, will have this um, uh, icons brand new icons on minimizing and closing and maximizing windows forever so yeah if you paid yeah that's nice but i will just use free version for that right now so i will extract the file that we just downloaded right here and extract all extract the files and as you can see we have also installed we will install curtain setup exe and open up this one as well click yes and for that to work we will need actually temporary mail so 10 minute mail it is as you can see we also have here extracted the files and started st curtains files for our windows so when this is done uh, startup curtains will prompt you to start 30 day trial i will do this and enter the email this is the 10 minute mail that we just created and here we have uh, to uh, have to uh, activate our 30 days trial for this to work so this one says that curtains trial validation is successful and right now we will go to the thank you and click to the finish and get started right now i will go to the extracted folder and click right here to the mac curtain style right double left click on it and as you can see it should prompt up right here into the other curtains as you can see lead 3 mac by nivo click this one and close all my university applications and the theme should apply. For example, right now, as you can see, if I close the web browser and the tabs and open up uh, uh, File Explorer, you will see that this one just works like, like this one. So it has macOS style. So the next thing that we will do is to change the, our wallpaper on our uh, Windows uh, system. So if we go to the wa wallpapers home, home, this is the page that I usually get wallpapers uh, and it's quite great with high resolution wallpapers. We go to the OS and choose let's say Macbook and I will see for the Mac, uh, Mac OS Big Sur wallpaper, the default one or let's say for this one, this the, the green one and I will download the 5k version of the wallpaper and click save the file, go to the downloads folder and as you can see we have the brand new wallpaper for our Windows desktop and it should work. As you can see we have brand new wallpaper. So the next thing that we will do is to change our taskbar look so it will, it will look like Mac OS one. So go back to the web browser and we will download taskbar X on GitHub and we will also uh, download roundedDB or rounded taskbar which is also from GitHub. Now go to the releases right here on the GitHub and download the latest version. So taskbar X, this one, save the file. And also on the rounded DB, this one, uh, which is currently in demo release uh, version 3.0 uh, and works well with Windows 11. I'll save this one as well and close the web browser. 
go back to your file explorer and go to the downloads and if you see around this taskbar demo extract it extract the files and i will also extract the taskbar x so when that is done i will just go right here around the taskbar and taskbar x i will right click it and this is the cut and cut it and i will put these two programs to our win windows uh, the uh, drive and I will create new folder called tweaks and go to the tweaks folder and paste it right here so this is the, our file that will not be deleted after uh, installing all, all these files so I will run taskbar x right here it should should work fine just fine and as you can see it's running just fine and I also uh, run taskbar configurator x file as well so as you can see we have taskbar configurator and I will put it to the blur as you can see we have a brand new style for our taskbar and I will put red green green and blue to the maximum values and I will just uh, lower uh, alpha a little bit for example the till 40 percent as you can see I will click apply right here and as you can see we have brand new look for our taskbar and the next thing is that we will uh, uh, launch the program called uh, Rounded Taskbar but this one program is also very good for uh, customizing your taskbar and it will be uh, the taskbar will look like Mac OS uh, when this tutorial is complete so I will put to the margin the margin to zero to zero margin to zero and click advance and I will apply the dynamic mode and click apply and as you can see we successfully changed our um, windows to look like mac os and guys i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial quick video tutorial to um, how to change your windows to mac os look i hope you liked it subscribe to the channel if you haven't already like this video for algorithm and i'll see you guys in the next one peace